Okay, so this is a little bit different video, right? We're on the phone right now, okay? Just wanted to get on this horn here and just share a video with you guys, right? It doesn't really have to do with trucks. Well, kind of, maybe a little bit so, but because I've been trying to make a turbocharging video for you guys, right? Uh, five of the best used trucks that you guys can turbocharge without replacing any internal components. I've been doing research for like two weeks to make this cool video. And Premiere Pro, the software that I use to record this video, it keeps dropping files. It keeps saying that my GDI is out of memory, which it shouldn't. And then when I send everything to Encoder, if you guys are familiar, to make a proxy so that I can actually edit these videos, it keeps saying that I'm dropping a frame and it's substituting a frame with another one, right? And I can't figure it out. I tried to go through and delete the frame to find it, couldn't, do, couldn't find it. Um, I tried to just go about it many different ways, deleting or sorry, uninstalling Premiere Pro, installing Premiere Pro, uninstalling Media Coder, installing Media Coder, shutting down your computer, doing all that crazy stuff, right? And still was having an issue. So after doing many uninstalls and reinstalls, I was like, you know what? Let's test out the camera. Maybe the camera's broken, right? So let's test out the SD cards and maybe let's try and test out my SSD, my drive that I edit everything off of. So I put um, SD card one in slot one of my Canon R7 on a test. And I made another little clip on SD card slot two on my Canon R7 because I have two card slots to see if maybe the, one of the card slots was corrupted as to why I was having an issue. And what I found out, as you're gonna see in the next clip, is that both SD cards worked fine. Both SD cards loaded the footage onto my SSD drive fine. And my SSD drive, right, where I'm pulling my footage from, I put things into Premiere Pro from SD card one and SD card two, and I was able to make a proxy off of both footage footages that came off of the SD cards so it's not my SD cards it's not my SSD um it's not my camera right it just so happened to be my software Premiere Pro itself so if you have had a system here where everything is working fine you're able to make videos you're cranking them out you're doing fine and one time you go in there and Premiere Pro all of a sudden just starts being crazy. It's saying you're out of memory, encoder's not encoding it. You're like, what's going on? I worked so hard on this video. Why isn't it working? What I just come to find out and what I'm thinking hypothetically is that the clip, the clips that you're working on are entirely way too long. So I'm trying to work off a of 4K footage. Actually, mine's like six k. It's like six or seven k. That's um, that's actually like bounced down to 4K fine footage in my Canon R7. So the footage is really good, but I had 45 minutes of footage I was trying to make into one proxy, and I think that the computer was just like freaking out because it was too much, um, too much load for it. So it just wasn't handling it. And so I went through all of my preferences and tried to make things easier. I tried to increase my RAM in Premiere Pro. So like the rest of my computer is only running on 1.5 gigs of RAM and I have six designated just to Premiere Pro. That's a lot of RAM for Premiere Pro. And I was still dropping stuff. So I was like, what is going on? Like, why is this happening right now? And what I just figured out was that, um, I think the footage was too long because if, if now I can make proxies easy, right? I, like I did before in the past. I think the issue was that um, I was stopping clips even after 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I was able to make proxies of those videos. I'm starting to realize now that that's probably too long also. So make shorter clips, make shorter 4K clips, make shorter 8K clips. And I'm thinking that's probably gonna help you out in the long run because I think that's the solution to my problem. Because if it's working now and it wasn't working for like the last two days and I've tried everything in the book and finally I just run this little test and I can make proxies of both SD cards, it's doing everything the same as it used to. I'm not pulling my hair out anymore. Actually, my hair's coming back really nice. So, make shorter clips and um, you can still make your proxies and whatnot if 
you already have like a short clip, like 30 seconds and you can't make a proxy of that, maybe you have another issue. But I'm just saying like for people out there that have had no issues at all, have a relatively newer setup, newer camera setup, all that good stuff, everything has been working, you're cranking out videos like I am, and all of a sudden just like, what? What is going on? My issue is the clips were too long. It's not telling me that, I'm just letting you know. So if you're running into that same issue, just, I jumped through the, like all of the crazy hoops for the last two days. Anything I could do, I did. So this is my simple test that I did, and hopefully um, this will help you out, okay? So actually, let me show you what I got going on right now, okay? So let me click over here, encoder. See, failed over here. This was the video that I was trying to work on. And encoding time, minute and 45, that's all it would give me. This clip, look at it, air retrieving frame 708 at this time, uh, substituting frame 707. And it just kept, that's what it kept saying, it kept failing. So this is SD card one, done. SD card two, done. So I was able to make proxies of both. If I go back into Premiere Pro, I can toggle on and off my proxy. Um, the only thing that's weird is that it's popping up right here on my screen. I'm not sure as to why. I never used to do that before. But maybe because I was just messing with this thing like crazy. But if I hit this now, it, this is without a proxy. Alright, so this is on. Okay. You see uh, how the footage is like a little shaky? Mm, which one right? On? Now, if I turn on the proxy, it should be smooth. See? Uh, Smooth, right? <laughs> All right, so that's what I just wanted to show you guys. This little, like, seven-minute clip or whatever. It may just <laughs> help somebody out. Because I've been looking everywhere on the Internet to find something and for someone to explain this to me. And this is the explanation. This is the only one that's out there. This is the only explanation I can give you. Okay, so now it's gonna work, but I'm just gonna keep the clip shorter. All right, and um, if you guys enjoyed this video, you enjoy me being transparent with you guys. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers. We wanna start giving some free stuff away. Starting with a thousand subscribers, we're gonna give from free stuff away. If we can get to 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna give some big stuff away. If we get to 20,000 subscribers, we're gonna give cars away. And if we can get even higher than that, who knows? I'll give a whole garage away. I'll give everything away. Because I like giving back. And I think it's cool. And more people should do stuff like that. And I just really hope this helps somebody because this drove me crazy. If you do, if it does, like, subscribe. I might not do a lot of tech videos, but you know what? If this helps out one techie, one tech guy, one country tech bunkin', then that job is done. And I could pat you on the back and you can say, thanks dude, and I'm gonna say, no problem. Been there, done that, get on with it. We'll see you in the next video.